Welcome to Neophyte Upholstery. Here's how a complete beginner tries to make a headliner. Welcome to the episode. I've done lots of uh, car seat repair over the years, but that's about the extent of the upholstery work I've done. Replacing panels and so on, and uh, foam underneath the cushion. But this is the first time I'm trying a headliner. Fortunately, I have the old one as a pattern, but I am going to have to be careful because there are um, the way it is sewn, it is in three pieces. So I have to make sure I get the seams correct. But it has eight hoops. That's the white lines that run across. I've separated one section here. I have more to go. For that, I use this thread picker, which I've borrowed clandestinely from my wife's sewing kit. They're not expensive if you do have to get one. And then I've used these push pins or needles to hold it in place. One there, one there. Etc. And then draw the lines, uh, trying to get them as close as possible for the seams because that will be critical. I'm using this striped cloth that's excess. I have no purposes for this, and, uh, but secondhand blankets will do as well as long as they're not flannel. Flannel's a little too stretchy, but linen will work. So I'll use that to cut my patterns and then I will cut the actual material. So the seams for this one are the front section there. The V that you see goes um, in front of the driver up by the mirror, the windshield top. I've got it flipped upside down at the moment. One advantage to old rotten material is that it's easy to pick the threads. Well, if you're careful, then it just rips apart. I'll show you the easiest way I found to do that. It's no major trick, but it might help. So this one is sewn just onto the fabric. There's no seam. Same with this one, even though it's ripped right there. It's not real obvious, but that one's just sewn onto the fabric. This one has two pieces of fabric showing. So there's a, a seam there the two pieces. Mark everything thoroughly I have found. It's very easy to get confused. I just take any spot, take the thread picker and just put between the two pieces of fabric. Be careful not to cut anywhere than you have to and then once it's open you just move along like that holding all sides of it. See, it's ripping there. It's up to go a little bit better here. Pick out a few threads, shoving it in between. Taking up the hoop. The dust is incredible on this thing. It's been sitting for some time. Now this heavy cardboard is what they use to attach it to the body. And once that's done, and the two pieces come apart quite easily. The first one I did ripped very easily between the two pieces of headliner. This one is a little bit more rotten, I guess. And it, the thread as it pulled out was actually cutting the material. So, and then I shall mark that as to which number hoop it is and which is the front. That should be the same side to side, but 
you just never know until you find out it isn't. So I've cut all these patterns. There's four of them. I said before there were three pieces. There's actually four for the headliner. Fortunately with this material I've used, it has stripes. So I can tell if it's straight or not. I have to try and straighten everything out as much as possible. Because while there isn't a heavy pattern on this headliner, it is visible. So if it's twisted, it will show. I'm trying to avoid that. So the first pattern, this is the front of the windshield. Uh, this is the top, meaning that that goes up against the roof of the car. Same with this one. So I'm working from the back side of the headliner. This is material I bought at a fabric store. It's about the closest match I, match I could find. Uh, it's the color I wanted. So this is it. I bought uh, three meters of it because it's not wide enough to take these pieces. These pieces are 64 to 65 inches wide. Uh, this one I think is 65. And they just don't fit. This material I think is 60 inches wide. So once I get these two laid out, I will mark it and then I will cut these pieces out and go on to the next step. So I've taken a 4 by 8 sheet of plywood, chipboard actually, laid it on top of my carpentry table. I bought these shelves the other day, I haven't put them up yet, so I'm just using them to provide a little more support so it doesn't tip quite as easily. And here we go. In a project like this, it's important to mark absolutely everything you think will be important. So I've numbered the pieces. These are the originals. I've numbered the pattern pieces that I've cut out. I've measured, or I've uh, marked them for left and right side. And what's the front? I've done the same with these hoop guides. These get stitched to the back of the headliner up against the roof and the hoops that hold it in position go through these uh, tubes. So I will use these to make new ones as well. And so they're all marked front, which hoop number they are, right, left. And, and that hopefully will mean that there's no mistakes. I've cut out two of the patterns already. I laid out all four. My wife tells me since I'm working from the back, I can use felt pen, so I did. She's done far more sewing than I have, so I'm going to take her word for it. So, laid them out as best I could, try and minimize wastage. And that's the four pieces. I'll finish cutting. And as they used to say in school, follow the lines. Unfortunately, the camera decided not to tape everything yesterday, so I'm uh, running back and see, just to show you how I did it. I used this material with a strong pattern. It just happened to be something I had lying around I had no future, future use for. Uh, one advantage of it is that it's not stretchable and it has strong lines so you can see if everything is straight. I laid that on top of the headliner material, marked it carefully with a and lightly with a felt pen and then cut the material out. I laid it out like this to minimize wastage as much as I could. I've labeled each piece to its location in the car. This one says top Number one, left side, right side, and this goes straight up to the car. So this is the driver's side. This is the windshield. This is the side that goes up to the roof of the car. This one is right, top, number two, left so that goes straight up so this would be the front of the car here so there can be no confusion likewise with the other pieces this is for the back window now the hoops i've also made out of the, the same material so those will be hidden um, 
I could have used some other material, but I certainly had lots of the headliner, so I used that as well. It's good, strong material, so it'd be better than trying to get something used or some cheap fabric and make the hoops. I'm just waiting on getting some needles now for the sewing machine because uh, it can't handle the upholstery thread. The needles that we have are too fine. Welcome to I Don't Have a Clue What I'm Doing Sewing Company or Taylor shall I say car upholstery. Either way don't have a clue what I'm doing. So here's the um, hoop retainers that I've sewn up. There are eight of them because there's eight hoops and the headliner gets sewn to this and then this is held up by the hoops against the roof inside. So I've got my pieces one and two here. I've pinned them together. They do match lengthwise, very close anyway. Now I will mark it for the half inch back uh, that the hoops have to sit. Uh, they actually go on the front side. No turning back now. Fortunately, I can cut the stitching if I have to. So here's the hoop guide. It's all pinned in place. First I pinned the two pieces of headliner together. I measured a line 7 16 or just over 11 millimeters on the uh, one of the pieces of headliner. Pinned them together edge to edge. And now I'm sewing through to try and get this after pinning it in line the line underneath and hopefully have a usable piece of headliner with two sections so far. I've tightened the thread stitch um, more so than I had for just the hoops for the hoop retainer rather. Now it's all sewed together for one seam. I will some are questionable lengths. We'll see how that works out. I'll remove the pins and flip it over. I took uh, detailed measurements of the headliner from the original, where the seams were and dimensions and widths and gaps between the seams. And I transferred that to the headliner that I'm putting in. So that uh, hoop retainer shows where the line is up there. Uh, I've got lightly drawn ink lines across. Probably don't show up very well on this. Not much contrast. But I will follow those lines and stitch the ne next hoops on. And then I'll proceed to piece number three. Here's another rookie mistake to correct. See this one, that's two pieces joined together. That's why there's that seam. But it's gray thread that's visible. This one, it's black thread that's visible because the bobbin has black. So if you sew it back side up, you end up with the bobbin thread showing. Um, I don't think that's going to be acceptable. I probably have to pick that all out and redo it. One headliner. Looks good. Will it fit? No idea. I tried to be as careful as I could but I have no idea what I'm doing so that may not mean anything. It does have a natural bend to it for the corners where the roof line changes. Uh, it does curve through the middle so just a case of if I got the hoops in the right places and the hoops are all behind like that. All the way down, eight of them. So less than a hundred dollars and about six hours labor. It's about four hundred dollars for a replacement. I have completed sewing the headliner. Well, one thing I want to do is put some belts, seat belts, in the car, uh, so that we can feel somewhat attached when driving down the highway. So. Uh, shoulder belts are probably the most likely to get and before I put the headliner on 
and have any sort of hesitations about dirt and grime and any um, staining to the headliner I would like to attach nuts in here to allow attachment of a shoulder belt um, I was thinking of welding nuts into there but I think what I will do is I will make a bracket that slips inside that slot and attach the nut to that that way um, it will be quite secure because it takes a tremendous amount of force to pull it forward or sideways out of this uh, I believe more force than the human body can withstand so that's what I will do I don't yet have the seat belt so I don't know if the nut is going to be imperial or metric I will leave that part off for now I'll just make the bracket uh, make the hole and then I'll weld the nut on later but the bracket will be removable so I can do that on the bench outside of the car and then I will attach it with a couple of screws here just to hold it in place uh, that is not going to be receiving the force of any impact it will only be to hold the bracket if you found this episode interesting helpful scornful or you just want to help out don't forget to and or